Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for the upcoming Infosys dive and this time they are hiring more people so please don't lose this opportunity. So let me share the coding questions which was asked on 12th July and this can be repeated for you as well okay. So let me share that but before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this okay. So let me share the questions. Thanks. You are given uh, an integer n okay. So actually I am not going to uh so the full questions because of copyright issue so let me just show what is possible for me okay so um yeah then uh, uh what's the question you need to count the number of string s of length n that only use the letter a b and c additionally a should not contain the string a b c as a substring since the answer can be large return it modulo 10 to the 1 9 plus 7 Input format is this, the form uh, first line contain an integer n and denoting the length of s. So I am just going to share as like this much, okay. So yeah, so sample input is this, let's say, let's say 3 is the sample input and output will be 26, why let me show that, okay. So the total combinations possible using ABCs are these. So you have to combine using these letters ABC, right? So uh, you can form a uh, like in this case repetitions allowed, right? So all possible they have told all possible. So that's why repetition is allowed. If they have told not repetition uh, like allowed then that that in that case uh, the output should be different okay so in this case repetition allowed so that's why triple a a a b a a c a b a a b b a b c so these are all possible combinations using a b c okay but that uh, like total using a b c we can form 27 combinations okay 27 combinations so the question is you don't have to consider the substring a b c so you have to just remove this one so out of 27 just subtract one you will get your actual output that is 26 so you have to write your code in such a way so that you get this output okay actually i have not prepared all the codes as the exam is being conducted as of now as well and i'm uploading for you so that you can be aware of what are the questions being asked okay and i'm going to upload all the questions within very few minutes in our prime uh, materials so please consider this infosys full preparation materials in which you will get all the pseudo codes or like sp coding questions with answers and for other roles as, as well like ac roles and other roles okay and for mock test interview preparation for all you can and consider this so just visit topmate.io slash techno underscore uf you will get to know all of these okay and you will get the re uh, recent questions answers as well as the previous like previous slots previous years questions as well okay so it just cost 59 rupees it can be more like 89 so please consider it as of now it will be very much helpful okay so let me share the next question that is okay so for this uh let me share one another example let's say uh, sample input is 4 okay so for that what will be the output that will be uh, 75 I think yeah 75 why because using a b c d you can form you can form total um, 81 yes total 81 combinations so in that case you will remove total 6 because there will be total uh six substring there which is initiating with abc okay you don't have to consider those so abc a abc b abc c abc d so these are all removed then abc will itself be removed so this way uh total six will be removed so total uh, like 75 will be the output okay so actually what are the uh, like solutions approach that is three to the power cube is 27 if you just subtract this then almost you will get your answer and in this case uh, abcd uh, abcd so for this case 3 to the power 4 minus 1 at each time at each time so if you just perform this uh, actually you have to implement dynamic programming so uh, that will become 75 i think so as of now uh, like this is uh, according to my understanding so please go according to your understanding 
so i'm just going to upload all of the answers uh, please uh, like subscribe this channel so that you can be aware of those answers as well and also please consider this prime materials okay so let me show the next question so the question is this so um regarding family members total number of families okay so you have to so the question is a city consider a uh, consist of many families living in different houses our family lives in the same house each house has a tree like structure with rooms represented as nodes and connections as edges okay there are a total of n people in the city labeled from 1 to n and each person occupies one room you are given for each member i the farthest relative ai in the same house if in this tree shaped house multiple members are farthest uh, the one with smallest level among those is chosen in other words if there is a tie between multiple uh, for this relatives then you need to choose the smallest level among them so actually let me show you the gist of the question so that you can understand better okay so the question is uh the city has many families each living in the same house okay a family lives in a tree like structure where nodes is equal to people and edges is equal to the connections or the doors okay so you are given a graph with n nodes and n minus 1 edges and representing multiple trees okay you need to find the total number of disconnected trees which represents the number of families so this is what you have to print you have to uh like return number of families or houses so if this is the sample input your output should be three i think so let me show that why so sample input is seven your output should be three and this these are the edges and the connections okay so as you can see one two 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, in this case, there are 7 people numbered 1 to 7. The following connections or door exist. 1 connected 2 and 2 connected 3. That means 1 connected with 2 and 3 as well. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3 are interconnected. 1, 2, 3 are interconnected. 4 and 5, they are solely connected. 6 and 7, they are also solely connected. So, that's why total possible combinations are 1 2 3 then 4 5 then 6 7 so total 3 total uh, number of families present so that's why 3 is the output okay so that means let's say if this is 3 so in that case total uh, number of possible uh, families will be 2 only why because 1 2 3 5 so these are all interconnected okay because this is the this is the connection this is the connection okay and here 3 and 3 so 3 is a connection so 1 2 3 5 so these are all connected and 6 7 solely connected so that's why total two families are possible here okay so i hope you understood what the task is right so please guys give the answer in the comment section if possible for your your side and if you want all the solutions of these then uh, i'm just going to upload all of the answers within very few minutes so as this is uh the this is, this is not right time to upload the answer so that's why i'm not up uploading so please consider this prime materials within very few minutes you will get that okay so thank you for today's session